avoid. Here we are making a start on the bike tray. At 9.30 p.m. It's a good time to start a project, isn't it? But we're keen to get this done, then we can get away in Gwen with the bikes. So we've got birch ply. How thick? 12 mil? 15. Oh, 15 mil. She's strong. She's good quality. She is excellent. And are these pre-cut? Yeah, we cheated. So the timber yard, which sells the, uh, sells the birch ply around here, offers a cutting service. Because we're short on time, I paid an extra couple of quid to get the mill. And they look pretty straight. We'll find out in a bit. Mm. That's always the worry, is whether they do a very good job of them. So this piece is the basis of the bike tray. Now we'll see whether they actually cut these from the same bit of board. They did, these should be the identical length. Ah, look at that, they are! So, we need to glue, clamp and screw these on. And I need to cut a bit to fit the, the bottom there. It's a solid fit, perfect. Well, we have just marked up where the screws are going to go along the edges and that is to hold these side pieces um, to create uniform pressure whilst the glue dries uh, and we are placing them every 20 centimeters 7.5 mil in from the edge so we don't split the wood first edge all clamped up so it is perfectly flush that is one beautiful looking line there That's... that is that is the art of having some good milling and some mm. good wood. Wish my cupboards were that good. Bike tray is way more important than cupboards. Though. And we have marked where the screws are going to go on the bottom of the tray. So now, whilst it's all clamped, we're going to drill the holes. Then we'll take it apart, do the countersink, apply the glue, and then reclamp. Anyone that has watched Netflix's Tiny House Nation, one of the best shows ever, uh, will see that product placement has worked on us. Gorilla Glue. That's what we're going to use here. It's waterproof. That's great. It has a gorilla on it. They're strong. Yeah. Nice to see Chris doing a bit of cleaning. <laughs> Banter. Schmearing that glue. Okay. Leave it like this overnight. Okay. Then we need to Danish oil it three or four times and then polyurethane. Not now. You sure? Not just one yeah. coat? Nice. Okay, so day two of trying to get this bike uh, slide out design. So it's glued really nicely, it looks super strong. So I'm just sliding it into the van and putting all the bits in. So this is the support, this is the slide, this is the tray. And I'm just going to figure out exactly where we want to mount our brackets so we can fit both these bikes, road bikes, and then eventually when we earn some money, some mountain bikes. Uh, the way that I know that I can screw this into the right position is this part of the slide is what mounts to the structure from which the tray is going to slide out from. And I want that to be perfectly in line with the top. So I can just get a bit of wood and place that down there and then onto here 
and then just slide it up against it so now it's completely flush and we can see that it runs straight all the way along here so I know that that's going to run true and I'm just going to mark all the holes with pencils and then we will, I won't screw it down at this stage because I'm going to sand and treat the whole of the wood first we've mounted the inside slider part to the tray so we know where we're going to screw that on and it's right at the top so then it's just figuring out where to mount these on the structural pieces which sit like this either side of the tray and thankfully because of the measurements it's pretty simple because the tray sides are 75 millimeters and then the base is 15 millimeters if you add that up that makes 90 and these are 100 millimeters so millimeter gap underneath the tray instead of the nine it's super easy and that's why these measurements work really well a bit of wood up against the edge which means I can push the slider into it so I know it's at the very very top of it I'll slide this slider forward and then that really uh, reveals the screwing holes and then when we get down to here you have to use these tiny little things to make your marks before you drill them otherwise they're covered up um, and that's why you need to do this before you attach this to the tray because you'd never get that final mark in. Oh. That's lined up to the edge of that, perfect. Alright, let's get some screws in. So one of the reasons why I wouldn't go much thinner than 15mm uh, on the wood is because you need some strong screws to hold the slides in. Um, the slides are mounted to the structure and now I'm just going to mount them to the tray and the beauty of the slides being mounted to the very flush top of the structure in the tray means I can just flip them all upside down lay them flat on the ground and then they line up really well with the uh, pilot holes I've already drilled when I was making it so we'll just clip so I've just spent some time putting all of the brackets on so we've got a load on the outside and then also some on the inside just to clamp these structural things in a straight line um, and then I had to trim the inside ones down to 20mm just so they fit and clear everything but much easier to put them all in now um, before uh, putting it in the back of the van Thanks.